All right. So welcome, everybody. I thought today we would just get on and have a little chat and bring in Raphael and, and see what's going on. I missed the call last Sunday. We're going to have another call this Sunday. Um, the Starseed class starts Saturday at 10 a.m. I mean, oh my goodness, oh my brain today at 2 p.m. Uh, so you have like two more days uh, at the most to register. So if you're planning on taking that, this is the moment to get signed up so I can get you in the roster. Um, all right, so to be completely authentic and honest with everyone, I am feeling off. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of you are feeling off too. The, uh, you know, it's intense times. And um, Raphael's been talking a lot about the fact that we are letting go of so many things and shedding um, and purifying. And for those of you who are on the call last Sunday, um, at the end, Raphael went through this process where she kind of just like moved her hands and it felt like it was an unzipping um, and an opening up. Um, uh, parts of self to allow more light to come out and expand. And so that as that metamorphosis process is happening, um, it can sometimes be interesting, uncomfortable, there can be a lot going on. So I'm going through that very intensely myself at the moment. And um, but I wanted to come on and and be of support and let you know that it's okay if you're not feeling great and that I'm very, very, very human and I don't always feel great. And sometimes it's good to hear that um, so that it's relatable and you know you can feel like you're not alone in this process. So Casey, are you there, sweetheart? Yes, I am. All right, wonderful. So um, we are gonna do Q and A today, question and answer. And I'll bring in Raphael and see what, what comes up. Um, and we're going to keep it short because uh, I need to keep, keep my energy level um, stabilized myself. And, uh, you know, Raphael talks a lot about self-care and self-love and um, being authentic and taking care of ourselves. So I have to walk my own talk, right? And uh, take care of myself. So it's gonna be short and sweet, but hopefully supportive. So we'll just see um, what comes up. Yeah, right. so we'll do that. And yes, if you want, if you have a question, just put it in here in the chat. And um, um, after I get through the questions that I have, we'll go over some of these questions um, if it flows with it. Yeah, and I know someone had emailed me that this is distracting if you're on, especially if you're on your iPhone to see these chats while I'm channeling, but just kind of tur turn the phone away and just listen to Raphael's um, voice. That might be one way to handle it. Normally we wouldn't have the chat, but today with the Q&A we need it. Okay, everybody just wants to uh, ground down into the earth. Feel Mother Earth's presence. Let's take some nice deep breaths and expand your awareness. And drop into the here and now. Oh, oh, oh. 
Hello. It is that we are delighted as always to be here and can feel that the energetic level of the vessel in which we are utilizing is low. And so we shall honor that and keep this short and sweet. But we are wanting to reassure all of you that as you are going through this process, uh, that you are morphing uh, and transitioning uh, into who it is that you are in the full aspect in the remembering of self. And in doing that, this is a requiring, uh, it is occurring or it is requiring you to, to be a witness and to feel and to release and to let go of anything and all things that are not fully in alignment with nature, that are not fully in alignment with the presence of who it is that you are, that are still held in form. For much of form itself is beginning to dissolve. And, and this can be very challenging on the physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual body. Because as you are letting go of so much energy that is very dense and that is very familiar, it is like peeling off something that can be challenging. And so you're going through an enormous purification and uh, releasing and shedding process uh, and so we want you to just know this to be aware of this to be gentle with yourself to be loving with yourself not to do anything at all really that you're not wanting to do and we want to repeat that if you don't really want to do it, uh, we, we're asking you not to do it. it. It's very important right now. Now, of course, there's things you might have to pick up your child from school or, or something <laughs> of that sort. <laughs> but, but we're talking about on a larger scale, that if you're really not wanting to do something, don't force or push yourself, that it's very important to be able to have the energy, the space and the time to integrate all of the flux in the energetic field that is uh, per participating right now around the planet, to be loving, to be compassionate with self, to be gentle, to take breaths, to remove anything from your calendar that is not in alignment with joy or anything that perhaps you might label as a should. And when we say don't do anything you're not wanting, we mean, of course, there are certain essential things you may not really want to do, but you'll have to do. But we're talking about anything that you can possibly eliminate that you're not wanting to do. And if you're so programmed to not even asking yourself any longer if you want to do something because you're so in the groove of pleasing others or doing what is expected of you, there is no energy for that paradigm anymore. And the clearer and the sooner and the faster you get in touch with that and you start to honor that in doing exactly what is uh, the calling in your heart uh, that is guiding you from an intuitive level that is driving you forward, which might even mean just taking a nap or laying in the forest and looking up at the trees or taking a walk or whatever it may be. It is very important for you to honor that in the presence of that and to begin to uh, live each and every day day and every breath and every moment as if it is your last not because there is a, 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 a pending doom coming or anything like that but because the, it will support you in the practicing and the remembering of the the embodying the enjoying and the richness of life itself and then being able to sustain the uh, your equilibrium during these great times of change and shift that that is occurring right now for you have signed up to be here on the planet during this momentous time and uh, you are here because you want to and have chosen to uh, on a, a unconscious and a conscious level 
to participate in the unfoldment and the awakening of the human species back to its original self. And in that, it is like peeling off a cast or it is breaking down something old. It is shedding something. It is releasing and purifying something in which you are leaving in the wake behind you as you are becoming more light. And as you become more light, uh, you are expanding in a sense beyond your britches. You know, that, that saying perhaps that you're gotten too big for your britches. You're getting too big in a sense for your own skin, meaning that the, own, the skin in which you have had is no longer holding the amount of light that you are emanating. And it is not in alignment with the new vibration that you are collectively aligning with. And so anything that is not serving the collective whole with the frequency of love in alignment and aligned with the nature and with Mother Earth and in an honoring of her will be disregarded and dismantled and will dissolve. Now, we know that we have talked about this for a very long, long, long time, and now you are in the, the witnessing stage, uh, the observing of it, and the crumbling of uh, many walls. And as these walls begin to crumble, it is very important that you are not just focusing on the crumbling wall itself, but that you are focusing on the light that is penetrating through the cracks that is permeating and entering into all the cells and the DNA of your being. And that when you bring your vision to the light that is coming in versus the wall that is crumbling, you can begin to ha have a lighter experience through the transition itself. Uh, and so whatever it is that you may be experiencing or you may be feeling at this time, it is essential that you give it attention, that you give it love, that you bring compassion to it, that you are gentle with yourself, that you are not pushing beyond it, and that you are being present with it. And that you are in a state of great allowing and not resisting. There are different segments of energies that will emerge and they might be labeled as different segments of or personalities or, or functions or ways of being. And a certain function may come and arise within you to express and uh, you may feel a part of a group or a collective thought process or whatever that may be and you may express through that but know that to, it is not important for you not to too much identify with a, a ideology or a, a way of seeing things that is caught in a, a box that it is that only your perception or the way that you are perceiving things to be is the only way. It is very important that you expand and allow the perimeters of a, a confined thinking to collapse because as the collapsing of the crumbling of the paradigm of form and walls discontinue in that may present itself in education or in government or in medicine or whatever it may be as they begin to crumble and fall away it is you may hang on to a particular uh, a theme or ideology or way of seeing things uh, to make you feel comfortable to uh, create your own walls and you may even do it with the construct that it is uh, that those walls that you are creating are the right walls and that the other ones are the wrong walls and because you are so spiritual and so awake that the way that you see it is the way that it is and, and you see that is perpetuating the division because that is creating a judgment against the other walls. And so what we're asking is for all of that, no matter where you find yourself in this polarized way of uh, perceiving things at this time, to see if you can relax 
your thinking. If you can begin to dissolve the form around the thought pattern so it can begin to settle and so that the consciousness has space to expand beyond that and to move into higher frequencies that are vibrating with the energy and the sequence and the frequency of love and beyond. And uh, so in uh, the vibration of judgment, uh, you are not vibrating at the frequency of love or above. And when you think that your way is the way or the awakened way or the right way or the only way, and that others are even uh, judging them as less than or asleep, is you just creating a more comfortable box for yourself to stroke your ego that you are spiritual and what you're actually doing is creating just a different form to sit in. And so it is important that you re recognize that all form across your planet, across this globe, is dissolving. You are purifying form itself, uh, in a sense, in that you are expanding beyond those perimeters of the construct of the mind so that you recognize that you are consciousness, that you are an ever expanding infinite being that has no construct of division, divide, or form itself. And because this is so uh, such a great shift in the paradigm from the way in which the collective has operated for long periods of time, you are forming uh, walls of more construct to convince yourselves that those walls are different than the walls of those that you look down upon, and yet they are just different walls. And what we are talking about here is the dissolving of all walls. That does not mean that you do not have belief systems or that you do not have an opinion or that you do not stand for an ideology or an idea, but you must do it with an expanded awareness and openness to the possibility that that in which you have attached to may not actually be correct. For the vibration and the energy of what you label as I am right and you are wrong, which is reflected in the division across the globe, is the energy that must dissolve in order for the species itself to evolve and to participate as full light. This is an awakening of a biological clock that is going off and there is no stopping this. The momentum of this is in motion. You are moving now at a rapid pace toward the full awakening of your light self. And through that transformation, there is some uncomfortableness we recognize, and it will be held to the least amount of uncomfortableness, depending upon a willingness to let go. We had talked before in a, a talk with all of you, and we had said, let go of everything. And what we meant by that was really literally everything. And it is that the more you are able to let go, really let go, and, and you keep reiterating that again and again, let go, the more you are able to expand consciousness beyond the walls of the perimeters of the illusion or what you might call the matrix that has confined you, enslaved you to a form that is outdated. It has become extinct. The collective way in which you have been has been extinguished and you are now shedding it as you are moving and returning at a rapid pace back to source, meaning that you descended in form down a spiral into what you might call a collective way of being based in material and form, densified and fragmented to a point of great division. 
and now you are spiraling back and headed home at a bullet of pace with a train moving rapidly towards source itself. And as it moves at that speed, it sheds and leaves behind it uh, as it breaks away and breaks open from the old energy of densification as the light begins to shine. And as the light shines brighter and brighter, it shines its light on those crevices and dark areas that are the densest of all, based in different collective agreements and thinking that no longer allow for the human species to be in alignment in purity and synchronicity with nature and Mother Earth. Mother Earth is going through this transition as you are witnessing with and along you, aside you, for you are not separate. And you will return again back to a new way of living that is more in alignment with the connection and the feeling and the synchronicity and the honoring and the beauty of the Earth itself. Um, and in order to remember that and to dissolve that in which is based in ego, personality, materialism, and form, you are shedding the idea of the construct of what you believe to be true, right, or wrong, and the remembering that that in itself is an illusion. Thank and you. So oh, we come today to give you that message so that you can relax and know that it is all unfolding in the divine perfection and that all you have to do is let go. You don't have to figure it out or to solve it or to actually do anything. What you need to do is to be. Thank you, Raphael. That's kind of a relief to get that kind of permission because sometimes it's hard for ourselves to give us that permission just to relax. But as we relax through this shedding, through this process of surrendering, there's still, for I know a lot of people, a tremendous amount of emotional pain. What is that emotional pain and why is it necessary to experience or is it necessary at all? It is important to bring compassion to it because you're, you're letting go of something very familiar that you have known and you're moving into the unknown. And so you are grieving the familiar and the ego loves the familiar because it is comfortable. And it is like you loved the skin that you had because you knew it and it was comfortable. But as you are willing to... Uh, let go and to forge ahead with trust and with faith uh, that uh, and, and relinquish doubt, uh, then you are able to move through the transition with greater ease. The emotional and physical and spiritual pain uh, is heightened by the need to change or to control it or uh, the wanting for it to be other than what it is. And so there's nothing, <clears throat> what is the purpose of pain, would you say, in these times? Well, it, it's like an alarm system. It, it's trying to tell you something and it always gets louder until you listen or wake up to it. And, and so the pain has something to say and often it is saying something that you may not want to do. And so you resist it until you're willing to surrender to it. Mm. And so I, I think so many people struggle with identifying what the pain needs them to do um, or not to do or to let go of. How, how can you better discern what the pain is telling you? Well, discernment is essential and will continue to be a, a very high uh, uh, skill set necessary to navigate the unfolding times in which we will delve into in our starseed work in, in greater depth. We can't go into it in a minute or two. 
but you you will have to illuminate and open up to a willingness to honor and to recognize that the internal compass and knowing that resides within has uh, your best interest at heart. And when you can discern between the ego mind and the intuitive heart and follow the intuitive heart, it will always lead you to a place of greater ease. Mm. Thank you, Raphael. And then another question is a lot of people are having difficulty with their family members, with um, people that they interact with on a normal basis, maybe coworkers and friends. And it feel, and a lot of people feel lonely. How do we move into coming back together and healing more relationships? Or is this just a natural process as we fall deep to the end of this separation on our, and it will heal as we journey back up into oneness? Yes, the healing will occur, but it is very important not to judge others. And when you are being judged to remind others of the commonality between you and to find that in which there is a common ground and agreement and to place your focus and attention there. Thank you, Raphael. I can tell that um, Kelly is tired. So I think we'll let you go for now. All right. Well, thank you for having me. And we are hopeful that this is supportive for all of you. Many blessings, much love and good day. Good day. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining. Um, I will try to keep up with the Sunday calls as I can during the Starseed Masterclass 1 and 2. I may not always be able to make them because I will be giving my energy and attention to that class. Um, it's going to be amazing and deeply connected and help us through this transition this fall. So we would love to have you join us. You have today and tomorrow as the last time to register. I love you. Stay centered and grounded and uh, hold the frequency of love. Many blessings. All right. Goodbye, everybody.